This is the Music History Today podcast for June 30th. On today's show, the Jackson 5 make a couple of changes. Cher marries Greg and Phyllis leaves. First up, though, on this date in 1934, the sad event that inspired Al Stewart's song, The Last Day of June 1934, started when Adolf Hitler started Operation Hummingbird, which became known as the Night of Long Knives, or the Blood Purge. In 1939, the Harry James Orchestra started their tour with their vocalist, Frank Sinatra. In 1949, singer Audrey Young married movie producer Billy Wilder. In 1951, comedic pianist Victor Borg's TV show, The Victor Borg Show, aired its final episode on NBC television. In 1971, the legendary concert hall, the Fillmore West, closed in San Francisco. In 1973, the events of Bobby Goldborough's song, Summer, the first time, happened when he sang, It was a hot afternoon, the last day of June. In 1975, the Jackson 5 left Motown Records for Epic Records and changed their name to The Jacksons. Jermaine Jackson also left the group and was replaced by his brother Randy. In 1975, same day, Cher married Greg Allman of the Allman Brothers Band. In 1976, Neil Diamond was arrested for having less than an ounce of pot when police raided his house. He had to be in a drug aversion program in order to get it off his public record. Less than an ounce of marijuana. Amazing. In 1977, Bob Dylan and his wife Sarah divorced. Also on that same day, Kiss's comic book with ink that was mixed with a vial of their blood was released by Marvel Comics. True story. In 1991, lead singer Mike Peters left his group The Alarm after announcing it on stage without telling the rest of the band that he was leaving. Always a brilliant maneuver. In 2000, nine people were killed in a stampede during a Pearl Jam concert at a music festival in Denmark. In 2001, Jackson, Tennessee held the grand opening of the Rockabilly Hall of Fame. In 2004, Dave Davies of the Kinks suffered a stroke. He survived, but it would take him two years before he got back out on stage. In 2005, the Bobby Brown reality TV show Being Bobby Brown premiered. In 2006, Jessica Simpson and Nick Lachey officially divorced. Also on that same day, President George W. Bush took Elvis Presley fan, Japanese Prime Minister Koizumi, to visit Graceland. In 2008, the ABBA musical movie Mamma Mia! The Movie premiered in London, England. Also in 2008, Olivia Newton-John married her husband, Amazon John Easterling. In 2009, U2 started their 360 tour, and Spinal Tap played their only concert of their one-night-only tour. The tour and concert was at Wembley Stadium. That's a great joke. In 2012, Adam Lambert performed with Queen for the first time on stage. In 2015, Apple Music was launched. In 2019, media management owner and Taylor Swift alleged antagonist Scooter Braun purchased Taylor Swift's old record label, Big Machine. The deal included ownership of Taylor's song Master Copies, which did not make Taylor very happy, and of course led to Taylor re-recording her old catalog. In theater, in 1956, the Broadway musical Pipe Dream closed. In 1982, Lena Horne's Broadway hit Lena Horne Lady Music closed. In 1985, the Broadway revival of the musical The King and I closed. In 1996, the Broadway shows Moon Over Buffalo and also State Fair both closed. And in 2006, the Cirque du Soleil musical review The Beatles' Love opened in Las Vegas. In award ceremonies that were held on June 30th, in 2020, the state of Illinois made John Prine an honorary poet laureate even though he passed away only a couple months earlier from COVID-19. Albums that were released on June 30th include in 1971 when Stephen Stills released Stephen Stills 2. In 1973, Sly and the Family Stone released Fresh. In 1975, the Beach Boys released Good Vibrations, The Best of the Beach Boys. In 1977, Kiss released Love Gun. 
In 1980, Queen released The Game, and Sheik released Real People. In 1984, Stephen Stills released Right By You. In 1986, Big Country released The Seer. In 1986, same day, Madonna released her classic True Blue. In 1987, the soundtrack to the movie La Bamba was released, along with Neil Young and Crazy Horse's album Life. In 1990, Biohazard released their self-titled album. In 1992, Mary Chapin Carpenter released Come On, Come On. Also on that same day, The Chills released Soft Bomb, Skinny Puppy released Last Rites, and Bonnie Tyler released Natural Force. Also in 1992, the soundtrack to the Cameron Crowe-directed movie Singles was released. That soundtrack, with an awful lot of grunge music on it, helped to make the Seattle sound more popular with the mainstream at that time. In 1993, Cyndi Lauper released Hat Full of Stars and Strawberry Alarm Clock released Anthology. In 1994, The Clarks released Love Gone Sour, Suspicion, and Bad Debt. In 1997, Iron Savior released their self-titled album. In 1998, Lucinda Williams released Car Wheels on a Gravel Road. The Carpenters released Reflections. The Cowboy Junkies released Miles from Our Home. Extreme released Running Gag. Megadeth released Live Tracks. Bobby Patterson released I'd Rather Eat Soup. Cheap Trick released the hits of Cheap Trick, and Earth, Wind, and Fire released Plugged In and Live. In 2003, The Who released The Who Live at the Royal Albert Hall. In 2006, The Goo Goo Dolls released their EP, Rolling Stone Original. In 2008, David Bowie released David Bowie Live at Santa Monica, 1972. The Zombies released Odyssey and Oracle 40th Anniversary Concert. In 2009, Wilco released Wilco the Album, and Jefferson Airplane released The Woodstock Experience. And in 2017, Jay-Z released 444. Singles that were released on June 30th include in 1958 when The Big Bopper released Chantilly Lace, a classic big hit back in the day. And in 1970, Chicago released 25 or 624. Before we go any further, we'd like to tell you that there is now a Music History In-Depth podcast where we go more in-depth on a few of the events that happen in music history for that particular week. The Music History In-Depth podcast runs every Tuesday on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts from, as does our Music Halls of Fame podcast, which talks about a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame along with other Music Halls of Fame, museums, and walks of fame. The Music Halls of Fame podcast drops every Thursday and can also be found on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. Now, back to this podcast. Artists who were born on June 30th include the First Lady of Jazz, Miss Lena Horne, American Idol winner Fantasia Barino, Tom Drummond of Better Than Ezra, Philip Wright of The Human League, Hasidic Jewish reggae singer Matisse I., Hal Linz of Dire Straits, jazz musician Stanley Clark, Andy Scott of Sweet, Glenn Chirac of The Little River Band, Florence Ballard of The Supremes, Billy Brown of Ray Goodman and Brown, Ronald Winans of the group The Winans, guitarist Ingve Malstein, Cheryl Cole, a.k.a. Cheryl Ann Tweedy of Girls Aloud, Andy Knowles of Franz Ferdinand, singer Larry Hall, Singer John Vaughn, singer Cole Swindell, Nicole Rowe of Panic at the Disco, and singer-songwriter Murray McLaughlin. Artists who unfortunately passed away on June 30th include composer Adam Krieger, who passed away in 1666 at the age of 32. Composer Francesco Rossetti passed away in 1792 at the age of 42. Composer and musicologist Ernst Gerber passed away in 1819 at the age of 72. Composer Eugenio Terziani passed away in 1889 at the age of 64. Composer Samuel Tuckerman passed away in 1890 at the age of 71. Composer Claude Terassi passed away in 1923 at the age of 56. Composer Michael Zadora passed away in 1946 at the age of 64. Composer Gote Carlid passed away in 1953 at the age of 32. 
Composer Lazar Siminski passed away in 1959 at the age of 76. Composer Clarence White passed away in 1960 at the age of 79. Composer Jan Zelinka passed away in 1969 at the age of 76. Songwriter Bo Gentry passed away in 1983 at the age of 41. Composer Federico Mampo passed away in 1987 at the age of 94. Saxophonist Dudu Putguana passed away in 1990 at the age of 51. Singer Jim Alemo passed away after heart surgery in 1992 at the age of 53. Jazz singer Phyllis Hyman committed suicide in 1995 at the age of 45. Composer Jeff Mace passed away in 1996 at the age of 91. Guitarist Chet Atkins passed away in 2001 at the age of 77. Jazz saxophonist Joe Henderson passed away in 2001 at the age of 64. Singer and actor Park Young Ha passed away in 2010 at the age of 33, and guitarist Vic Briggs of the group The Animals passed away in 2021 at the age of 76. Next on the Music History Today podcast, it is July 1st, Canada Day, when in 2005, the world lost one of the greatest voices in R&B music, Luther Vandross. 